Hi guys, my name is Emily. Welcome to another Top 5 Wednesdays. Top 5 Wednesdays were created by Lainey from Ginger Reads Lainey. Links to everything will be in the description box down below. Today is January 25th, and today I am talking about my favorite underrated books. I am going to start with a recent favorite, and that is The Lesser Blessed by Richard Van Camp. Richard Van Camp is an Indigenous Canadian author from the Northwest Territories. I loved all of his works, but this is a short novel that I feel like is probably the most likely thing that you guys will pick up if you're at all interested. So this is the story of a young Indigenous boy, and it explores the reality of growing up in a place where residential schools have really destroyed Indigenous culture, and modern Canadian practices are continuing to destroy Indigenous culture, and what it's like to grow up as an Indigenous person in this climate, in the realities of abusive homes and drug addiction and trying to cope with these things in different ways. It's a really important piece of literature. So it might appeal in that it's sort of darker YA. We do have a young protagonist and I think it's definitely an important quick read. The next thing that I'm going to mention is kind of a bizarre choice. I was forced to read this for class, but it is a really dark, messed up piece of literature that I feel like if you're a Stephen King fan, you might really enjoy. And that is Hawksmoor by Peter Ackroyd. This is a book about a serial killer, but it takes place in two time periods. And there's some weird overlapping magical realism stuff that happens. It's brutal, it's dark, it's creepy. It actually stands out in my mind because to film this video, I went through my shelves and I was like, what, what jumps out? What is something that I read and still jumps out at me? And Hawksmoor was one of them. And I think if you're into darker, sort of horrific mysteries, detective novels, horror novels, this might be something that you'd really enjoy. The next thing that I will mention is The Thief Lord by Cornelia Funk. This is again a piece of children's literature. It's something that I read as a kid and it jumped out at me from the shelf still. It's about a band of children who steal things and they're sort of under the leadership of the titular Thief Lord. It's been a while, but I read this multiple times as a kid and I remember it being very dark and atmospheric. And I think if you've read The Book Thief, which is a really popular text here on booktube, I think it has a similar feel. And I think you would like it if you've read the book Thief, not just because they're about thieving, just the sort of darker, child-focused narrative. The next book I have here is First Test by Tamora Pierce. Yes, I am never going to shut up about this series because I think everybody should read some Tamora Pierce. I think that in terms of gender and power and agency, Tamora Pierce has a lot going on. Could she be a little more intersectional? Yes, but considering that she sort of stopped writing in the early 2000s, I think for its time, this was quite progressive. And I think if she continued to write now, she really hasn't produced anything in a while. She would be with the times. She would be taking a more intersectional approach to her characters and to her literature. And I think it's really important and I think it's really fun. And I think her whole Tortal universe is really fun. And I would highly, highly recommend that you read this. I cannot recommend this enough. Finally, I have Falling Angels by Barbara Gowdy. Now, when I first started booktubing, The Virgin Suicides by Jeffrey Eugenides was big. Everybody was reading it, everyone was loving it. The sister dynamics, the mystery, the suicides, the darkness, everybody loved it. I was recommended this quite early on in my booktube career. I do have a career. Um, I do have a video talking about Barbara Gowdy's Falling Angels and a couple of her other works because after this book, she quickly became one of my new favorite Canadian authors and I am working my way through the body of her works. This is much like The Virgin Suicides. So if you were part of that craze that read The Virgin Suicides, I think you would really like this. This is the story of family, it's a story of sisters, it's a story of unexplained weird deaths and mental health issues. It's dealing with a lot of the same issues and themes and the 
sister family dynamics are here and i think this is definitely worth the read if you've read the virgin suicides and love the virgin suicides those are my five underrated reads so let me know in the comments down below one of your underrated reads thank you so much for watching and i will see you soon bye